Now I think the function they give you is, uh, is it 5x minus 1? 5x minus 1? Plus 1? Thank you. So let's just start out by writing this. Let's define a new function, f of x, and it's 5x plus 1. So what we're going to do to this thing is we're going to differentiate it, and we're going to do it during using the process that we did before. Okay? So here's what I'm going to write. Instead of saying derivative or greater than the tangent, I'm just going to say f dash x. Okay? And then I'm going to say, what's it going to be equal to? Well, do you remember? I have to start off by writing this limit thing, right? I'm thinking about the gradient of a tangent, not a secant, so I always begin by writing this. And hopefully, just like a page earlier in your book, you've got the difference quotient, right? What is, it's a, it's a quotient, right? What is the difference quotient? It's f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h, yeah? Do you want me to pause on a thing or explain something? You okay? Fantastic. So, this is the general definition. This is what the, uh, the derivative is for any function, but I've got a specific function, 5x plus 1. Okay? So, let's have a go at replacing everything um, for this, which is general, which, which with this, which is specific. Okay? So, if this is my function, 5x plus 1, what's f of x plus h? What would I write? 5 lots of? s plus h. Thank you very much, Shalina. There we go. And then I'm going to add 1. I'm just going to pause right there. Okay. So this thing here is f of x plus h. I'm just going to highlight it for you. That's the first thing I'm looking at. There it is right there. I've just changed every x and replaced it with an x plus h. Okay. So that's good. Take away. What's my f of x? Have a look, just by definition. It's that guy, right? Now just be careful, because I'm subtracting a whole function, I'm going to chuck some brackets in here, because there's going to be a minus sign that sort of distributes everything in here. Is that alright? So there, there is my f of x, and I've just done a straight swap. How are you so far? So far so good? Okay. That's the numerator. What's left in my difference question? The denominator, which is over... H, very good. Now at this point last time, actually we had something, I threw you guys right in the deep end, I had something much more complicated, there was squares and all that. This is easy to deal with, right? First thing to write down is? 5x. Ah, first thing to write down is? Oh. The limit. Why am I dealing with the limit? Why do I keep writing that down? Look at these two lines. If I don't write the limit, what am I working out? I'm working out the difference quotient, which is a secant, right? But I don't want a secant, that's just an approximation. Just like us measuring with our triangles. I want something Precise, the tangent. Okay, so I have to write. How do you know? Yeah, yeah. How do you know if you need to work out the second or the tangent? Great question. Read the question. So I'm pretty sure it says it, it'll it'll tell you. It'll tell you what it wants. Though I will point out. The only reason we really were talking about secants this morning is because they are the way to get to tangents. Okay. Also so then take the limit h. Right, right, exactly. Okay. All right, um, can you help me out? Can we do a bit of expansion and collecting like terms? Yeah. Yep. So 5x plus 5h. Very good. 5x plus 5h plus 1. Done with that. Help me out with the second one, Rassand. Minus 5x minus 1. Fantastic. Now, if we did this right, uh, I should do the whole fraction first. If we did this right, some stuff should cancel, right? What can you see? 5x minus 5x plus 1 and minus 1. These guys? By the way, is it obvious enough that I'm trying to help you see this with colors, right? There's lots of stuff that will be more obvious to you if you can just highlight it in this way. Minus one. Yeah. Good, fantastic. So if you did it right, lots of stuff should cancel and we get left with what? Just the 5H? 5H? Over H. So you're like, oh cool, this is the thing I saw before, right? I can get rid of the H's. So I say this. Now, at this point, you're like, oh, what happens when h gets closer and closer to 0? What happens to 5 as h gets smaller and smaller? And the answer is, nothing happens to 5. 5 just stays 5. Okay? Now, let's just pause, now that we've got an answer, and think about what this means. What is it that we set out to try and calculate? We're differentiating, what does that tell us? What is this thing? The point of tangent. It's the, now, it's to do with the tangent. What does it tell us about the tangent? The gradient. the gradient of the tangent. Now, what this is saying is, you notice there's no x there? There's no x. So, in other words, whatever value of x I try out, the gradient of the tangent, apparently, is always 5. 
Why is that? What is this object that we're dealing with? That's a straight line. This object is a linear graph. It's just a straight line, right? So you're like, wait a second, 5x plus 1 is this guy, right? If you drew in your tangents at, at every point, pick a point, any point you like, your tangent will always have this same gradient. Make sense? Okay, now this process, it does look very long. We're going to be replacing this process eventually because it's so long, but you need to know the thing you're replacing it with is doing this in the background, okay? 